hello world i'm missy girl and welcome back to another video with your girl missy girl if you're new to my channel i'm missy girls and if you're not new to my channel welcome back make sure to subscribe like it up share and comment below what you want to see me do in my next videos in the future i'm so sorry i haven't been making videos for a while you know school work life yeah but um every time i have a new video idea i just like i'm gonna record and i'm gonna make a video so today's video is gonna talk about something that really annoys me it really blows mine it really just gets my blood running and it really pisses me off and i try not to curse but i don't really think that's a curse word but anyway, it, yeah anyway it really makes me mad and it's a little bit of a story time as well towards the end but yeah just this is all about wasting my time money i can get back clothes i can get back food i can get back but my time my valuable precious time oh my gosh i cannot get back so please do not waste my time whether it's friendships relationships whatever it is don't waste my time i always ask the people that i talk to to be honest with me excuse me from the beginning and i'm always honest with the people that i talk to from the beginning i tell them what i want what i want in a friendship what i want in a relationship whatever x y and z leave it out there so they know what i'm looking for what i'm expecting so they won't have to lead me on or i don't have to lead them on or whatever the case may be so please do not waste my time do not waste people's times because if you don't want your time wasted don't waste other people's time point blank period Whew. it just gets on my nerves when i tell someone i want to talk to you like that or i want to pursue you or whatever I want to pursue a relationship with you and they're like okay cool we text we talk we facetime we chill whatever for a couple months or whatever then all of a sudden boom things change you stop texting me you dry text me you feel some type of way i don't feel the same connection with you then when i ask you what's up with you you don't have an answer you give me four thousand and five excuses and you can't come down to the fact that you basically don't want to talk to me anymore if you don't want to talk to me anymore just say that you don't want to talk to me anymore don't keep leading me on because i'm gonna get pissed off i'm gonna get frustrated and it's not gonna be pretty i'm a really nice person but don't take advantage of me don't take advantage of my time because that's something i cannot get back period so yeah and then if you want to like just not talk to me anymore that's fine like i said just let me know you want to you don't want to talk to me anymore i can leave you alone deal with myself or deal with other people not that's not that hard it's pretty simple so like it's just frustrating how people say oh i love you i have feelings for you x y and z but yet you don't act like it you don't act upon it you say that you have feelings for me you say that you you know you constantly want to talk to me or whatever but you don't act on it like it was this one incident with this one girl let's call her lotion okay lotion and i have been talking since late summer you know, I she lives in the same city as me. We talk, you know, we chilled a lot. And there was some red flags in the beginning and I should have noticed it, but I really liked lotion. So, um, you know, I would give lotion money or whatever because I had a job. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to be nice. I gave her money or whatever. So, yeah, she did use me and it was my fault. Anyway, so um, all of a sudden when I told lotion that I couldn't give her money anymore because I was going back to school. So, I needed to start focusing on getting books and stuff. She started dry texting me. She started, you know, not hitting me back right away and X, Y, and Z. And it just wasn't feeling right. So I'm like, all right, maybe, you know, she's feeling, she's having a bad week or a bad day or whatever. I'm going to give her some time. So two weeks comes along and she still hasn't changed. She's still the same way. She's still dry texting me. She's sending me messages every like five minutes, to, like five times a day. It just wasn't the same as when we first started talking. So I said, all right, I'm going to mention it. So I mentioned it to her. And she was like, she was like, I don't really have the time to talk about it right now. I'm in a bad mood, blah, blah, blah. All right, so I'm thinking she's going to talk about it when she feels good. No. We end the conversation right then and there. She's still dry texting me. So two days after that, I text her again like, hey, lotion, like, what's up with you? Like, we haven't talked like, like, she said, oh, don't think anything of it, babe. Like, I'm fine. We're fine. We're good. You know, I'm just, and she's just spilling out all these excuses. And I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. This, this doesn't make any sense at all. So I told her like how I felt like I was losing feelings for her. Because, you know, if we don't talk every day, like, all day, 
I'm gonna get bored. I'm not gonna feel entertained by you no more. So yeah, she's like, oh, don't feel that way. I haven't lost feelings for you. I still love you. Blah 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 blah. So I'm like, all right. So then she's like, well, we could be friends. I'm like, you just said you loved me, but yet you're just jumping quick enough to say that you want to be friends. So we could take a break. Okay. So, boom, we take a break or whatever. We still talking or whatever. So, we can still be friends. I'm like, okay, cool. We're still friends. So I, was, I was upset about it. Like, I really was upset about it. So, I'm still thinking about her, you know, because I, like, I don't love her. I didn't love her, but I loved who she was as a person. You know what I mean? I, I adored her. Boom. So, then all of a sudden, she stopped texting me. Okay. Then it's begin weeks. I'm not going to. I texted her last. I'm not going to double text her. So, boom, my birthday passes. A couple of days after my birthday, she texted me. She's like, oh, hey, Naya. I'm like, hi, Lotion. And she's like, oh, um, how are we supposed to be friends if you don't text me? I'm like, I did text you. She was like, oh, well, that message didn't get through my phone. I was like, well, you need to go to the, to the phone store and check that out because I texted you. And I sent her the screenshot. She said, oh, I didn't get that. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, mm, not my fault. Mm. So then she's like, oh, I would have hung out with you on your birthday caps because she didn't even text me to say happy birthday to me so she's capping she's a capricorn she's capping is she really a capricorn i think she really is a capricorn anyway yeah she was capping so i'm like mm, thanks but um i'm gucci i had a good birthday thanks a lot anyway so yeah then like you know i'm still on t well i deleted the app i deleted tender and bumble but i was on it for like friends or whatever so and this video is going to be kind of long because it's two stories in one. And they both, the pe both of the people wasted my time. So anyway, back to the lotion story. So yeah, I just found out she was on Tinder yesterday. I'm like, she said that she loved me so much and all this other stuff. And now she's on Tinder. Now she's back on Tinder like she never met me. Cool. So I was her or whatever. And, you know, I didn't text her because I'm like, you know, I'm done with her. Like, that's it. Whatever. So yeah that was that right that was that story so that's over we're done we're not talking no more period now last week i met another girl right and i'm not being a hoe or nothing like that trust and believe i i me personally i just want a vibe a cuddle buddy or whatever cool whatever so let's call this girl shampoo so shampoo and i go to the same school we met on tinder like typical tinder what <laughs> um we met on tinder and um we i told her i was like oh i just want a vibe like i don't want no relationships or whatever she said oh cool we could be my little vibe i said cool bet so we started texting each other instantly you know we go on the phone for like an hour or two we're talking real nice conversation everything's good she's really pretty you know blah 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 blah, blah. so then we find out a way to meet each other like took for me to go to her dorm because she dorms or whatever so I'm like, bet. So the day before I go to her dorm, it was last Tuesday, actually, a week from yesterday. No, today's Thursday, a week from Tuesday. I go to her dorm, but the day before she go, she, I go to her dorm, she's like, oh, I still have my ex-boyfriend. She's like, I still love him or whatever. And, you know, um, oh, wait, no, not gonna lie, back, back, back scratch. I still love Lotion, not gonna lie, I still love her. I don't know why I said I didn't love her. I still love her. Fast forward uh shampoo so she's like yeah i still love my ex-boyfriend we don't talk every day i mean we talk every day but it's not like we're gonna get back together yada 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 so I'm like, all right i don't know why you t like i appreciate you telling me this but you know i'm not gonna feel some way about it because you're not my girl so then we go so i didn't tell her that but i'm like oh thank you for telling me thanks for being honest or whatever so i'm like are we still hanging out she's like yeah of course we're still hanging out boom i go to her dorm we hang out before my class starts, you know, we cuddle in or whatever, talking, watching a movie, you know, getting, doing some little <laughs> wink, wink, doing some stuff. Not fully, but I ain't going to be explicit. We doing some stuff. And um, I overhear her because her birthday is that weekend. Well, last weekend. So overhear her talking about how she wants to pop all these pills and do all this extra stuff. I'm just like, mm, I ain't about that life. She was saying how, and she also talk, told me that, she, you know, that she wanted, um, and she don't believe in God. And I was like, mm, I'm a Christian. I don't want to date somebody who doesn't believe in God. We could be friends still. But then she started saying that if she wants to marry me, it'll be me and a boy. I'm like, mm, definitely not about that life. I don't believe it. Well, I believe in it. Like, if you do what you want to do to make you happy. But me personally, I don't want I don't want that. So whatever. So then, 
um she, before we went to sleep before my class started we took a little nap or whatever she was like oh i love you and i was like <laughs> what like mind you we just met like four days ago what you mean you love me bye so then like you know we was walking she was walking to my class or whatever and then she was all touching me and feeling on me and i was like girl relax like we're in public now like i don't do that ish stop so then I told her how I felt after class or whatever. Because, you know, we hugged each other. See you later or whatever. She went to her dorm. I went to my class. After class was over, I had her up. And I was like, hey, like, it was fun seeing you today. But, you know, I feel as though we should take it slow. And I also feel as though, you know, I don't like people touching me like that in public. Especially if you're not my girl. And even if you are my girl, I still don't want that. Like, you could, we could hug. We could hold hands or whatever. But as far as you touching this and this and this save that for the room don't say that for in public when people are walking by and when i met a couple girls not met when i saw them walking past me i was like oh she look good oh she cute mind you i'm single so i can say whatever i want i don't care she said oh you want her and i'm like you're in love with your ex-boyfriend what are you talking what are you talking about and she even said oh you know are you do you talk to anybody else i was like no she's like well you can i'm like i was gonna do that anyway like oh, you're not my girlfriend like what so I'm just like, you just said you love your ex. Now you love me. Like, what's going on? So then, yeah, I texted her. Then I sent her voice notes because I felt as though, like, I didn't want to leave her on, off on a bad note. So I told her how I felt. Like, you know, she was a good person, yada, yada, yada. And then she was, she didn't even respond. She played my voice notes, but she didn't respond. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm not going to text her. So then Sunday comes along, which is her birthday. So I texted her happy birthday. She just still didn't respond. So I'm like, all right, bet. So she just wasted my time. She did buy me food, though, so that was good. She bought me some food. But, anyway, she wasted my time. Like, but, yeah. But that's all I have for you guys today. Some story times about people wasting my time. So, please, don't waste my time. If you ever want to talk to me, be my friend, be my girl, or whatever, don't waste my time. Don't waste anybody else's time. If you don't want your time wasted, don't waste anybody else's time. That's all I have for you guys today. I love you guys. Stay, uh, be true, be you. Stay blessed. Bye.